Sometimes when you're working with trigonometry, you need to convert between degrees and radians. What a lot of textbooks will tell you is as you go from degrees to radians, you simply need to multiply by pi over 180. And as you go from radians to degrees, you just need to multiply by 180 over pi. I know when I had to remember how to do this, I always got confused on which one to use. So I started setting these things up as proportions. I knew that 360 degrees was equal to two pi radians. So if I had some unknown degrees, I could find out what the radians were for that and vice versa. So how many radians is equivalent to 30 degrees? Well, since I have a proportion here, I can just simplify cross multiply and solve for that. So I now know that these two things are equivalent. I could do the same exact thing if I knew my radians and I needed to solve for my degrees. Make sure you check out our full videos on our channel, Like a Math Class. And if you found this helpful, please like it and share it with a friend.